So this poem is about my hometown, Skelmersdale, which it hasn't got a great reputation. Someone recently told me in a pub that um, it's, um, it's studied by kids now in the GCSE geography syllabus as a failed social experiment. So I don't know if that's true, maybe someone can find out. But um, I've got a lot of affection for it because I'm from there, but there's no getting away from the fact that there isn't much there. Um, it's, it's like a new town, like Milton Keynes, and they, they didn't finish building it, so they basically gave us a chippy and a church and half a spliff and to hold us to go on with it. And uh, there's, no, there's not really like a nightclub in scene there or a nightlife. There is one club um, called The Club in which nobody dances because no one in Scam has ever seen anyone dance. One person once saw a photocopy of someone dancing who showed it to someone else who didn't understand it. A made up town. You know the way parents don't get a handbook? Well, ours didn't have any books. They had an accent and an attitude, so they made it up our imaginary town. I was the youngest and allowed to do whatever I liked. There was nowhere to go and nothing to do, so this is my skill. I can take a bag of no-frills crisps and call it my best mate for the day. Call it Barry and love it a bit and then eat it and go out to play. I had eight imaginary friends. Our parents didn't teach us right from wrong in the same way of parents of kids and that when I left my imaginary town. They didn't teach us how many continents there are, or what continents are, or what the point of knowing that is. They didn't teach us about our politics, but we felt its effects. So when I left, it was hard to impress that or their kids. The kids who grew up into adults who think it's clever to laugh at people's spelling mistakes and feel sorry for us because we've never eaten some sort of shit food we don't care about. Adults who can't believe we don't know something when it's clear they don't know that much and they've learned it all from books. The words they use aren't their own. On our island, we couldn't give a crap about spelling. I found whole worlds of cerise and electric blue and brought them into our house in little cupped hands like, here, look what I've found for you. I'd adamantly dance my head off for any audience. It was just copying me mum. Our parents were young enough and daft enough to know exactly what I was on about when I talked complete, complete shit about the fairies up my nose and the people in the woods. Not humour enough, but joining in with their own delicious twaddle. They haven't finished being kids themselves yet. We could make a fun fair on the land and using a chair, some play doh and a sock, lick a slug for a laugh and get a dad who's been at work all day to do a forward roll and mark him out of ten for it. We didn't know what we were meant to be, so we just was. The world wasn't there to tell us we were wrong. We sung our own song so badly out of tune. It was beautiful. We spelt it so wrong. It was beautiful. We made an entire world out of nothing.